Here's innovation from Goyal that takes you further. New Goyal Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 tubes have been expertly crafted with the latest in liquid engineering technology, highly advanced for modern engines, prolongs oil change intervals, save you fuel, clean, protect and enhance engine performance. The way engines work has become complex and Goyle has innovated to stay ahead with expertly crafted lubricants that work excellently with all petrol and diesel engines of today. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 tubes. Innovation that takes you further. Goyle. Good. You're most welcome to a new era of banking at GCB Bank where there are no long queues at the bank because you can enjoy swift access to your account anywhere, anytime with GCB eBanking Solutions. Experience a world where you have financial convenience from a bank with integrity. A world where you can focus on your business and trust us to provide you with limitless business banking solutions that will take you to new heights. When you need a loan, sooner is better than later. So we give it to you in 24 hours to make sure the experience is memorable. Whatever you need, sir, we have an exceptional team of diverse professionals ready to serve you with a smile. Trust us. Welcome to the 2019 edition of the National Science and Math Quiz. This is the penultimate 1A stage contest featuring Mauli School. GSTS <laughs> and Ola Senior High School who <laughs> Let's meet the contestants. Mawuli School. <laughs> Mawuli School is represented by Kunafa Michael Kojo, final year. Dake. Dake Collins, final year. You're welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, man. How are you? Yeah. Good. You are a Cedar School. Yes. What have you been up to in the past year? Yeah, I'm doing a lot of uh, trials and uh, from uh, experience of our past years, we have been able to acquire some skills. And we need that like okay, that's good. And would you tell us a little bit about your school, please? Mauli School is located in Ho, the capital of the Volta region, and it was established in the year 1950 by the EP Church. And at that time, it was the first SHS in the Trans Volta Tobola, which is now the Volta region. Okay. And our motto is Head, Heart, Hand. All right, thank you for sharing that. What shall we expect this contest? Big, yeah, all right. Victory. Best wishes to you. Thank you. GSTS. GSTS is represented by Aban Fanti Kenneth Jr., second year. Adequate second year. You are welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you, madam. How are you doing? We are fine. We are fine. fine. You are fine. Yes, madam. That's good. You are coming from the prelims. Yes, please. yes madam. What happened there? Okay, at the prelim stage, we met Zion College and Edunan Senior High. And God being so good, we sailed through. That's why we are here today. All right, that's great. But before I go, I know that you two like movies. 
This man. A lot. Yes, ma'am. What, what is new? If I wanted to see a movie today, which one should I go see? <laughs> Adam, the end game. The end game. Eh, yes, okay, I shall do that. <laughs> Thanks for your recommendation. Thank you. All right. This contest, what are we expecting? Uh, we know that we prepared much and we know God will do the best. And he will do the rest for us. And we know that from, by the favor of God, at the end, we will emerge as what God wants us to be at the end of the contest. Okay. Best wishes to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Last senior high school, ho. <laughs> oh, last senior high school, ho, is represented by the big girls are patience, final year. Such a final year. You're welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? You're doing, Thank you. you're doing well? Yes. That's great. You are coming from prelims. Yes. Please, what happened there? Um, at the prelims, we met with um, Edina Mine and Ahanta Mine girls. And um, we lost, but we came back with, um, as part of the losing schools with high scores. Wow. We have all right, all right. <laughs> so this contest, what are we to expect from you? We are going to do our best, and we hope God will do the rest for us. All right. I wish you well. Thank you. Viewers, we've met the contestants. Before I sit down, I would like to acknowledge our sponsors. The National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service with support from Goyle. Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, GCB Bank, Vimto, Academic City College, Adansi Travels, Kenya Airways, Accra College of Medicine, Medifem Multi Specialist Hospital and Fertility Center, GTP, FH Aachen University of Applied Sciences, Newmont Gold Corp Ghana, and Intervarsity. Our media partners are Joy News, Joy FM, My Joy Online, and YFM. This is a prime time production. Thank you for that. My name is Elsie Fakhoffman, and I'm honored to be your quiz mistress. Thank you.
contestants, as always, the contest comes to you in five rounds. The first round is a round for fundamental concepts. The questions are simple and direct. I'm expecting simple and direct answers from you. If you answer your major question correctly, three points. If the question is incorrectly answered, it becomes available to the two other schools. A school may ring and attempt an answer. If the answer is right, one bonus point. If the answer is incorrect, there's a penalty, one point. For questions which require calculations, you have 30 seconds to present your answer. If there are no calculations involved, you have 10 seconds to do so. All questions, all of them are to be attempted once only. Best wishes to all three schools. First set will require 10 seconds of your time. I'll be starting with you, Mauli School. But this is one of those questions where I give a single question to all three schools. I move around for correct answers, right? That means no bonus. And answers should be different. Mm. All right, so this is the question. Adaptation involving running is required by those organisms living in grassland habitats. Since the lack of hiding places means fast running is an important means of protection from their enemies. State one, only one structural adaptation shown by such organisms. That's the question. So now, uh, Mauli School. Michael. The organisms in that habitat have long legs for running fast, mm -hmm. and the long legs are well developed. I'll give you two. I'm moving on. <laughs> yes, Ola. Fafali. Um, such organisms have um, hoops with large surface area to enable them to move, cover a, um, a large area within the shortest possible time. I'm not accepting it. GSCS. Yes, Adiko. Such organisms have a muscular fit with much muscle so as to provide them with enough energy to escape their predators. I'm not accepting that. All right, these were the types of answers I was expecting. So the neck is reduced and the body is streamlined, and this will reduce air resistance while running, right? Next, the bones of palms, that is the carpals and the metacarpals, and the soles, tarsus and the metatarsus, become compact and are often fused to form the cannon bone. All right. The forearm bone, ulna, and shank bone fibula are reduced. And then one, no, two more. Distal segments of both limbs such as the radius, tibia, and cannon bones are elongated to increase the length of the stride. This is what I got from you, right? So it wasn't complete. You only talked about the legs, and that's why I gave you two out of three. And then the last one is that movement of the limbs is restricted to a fore and aft plane. These are the adaptations. Next set, 30 seconds, with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. The thermal linear expansion coefficient of copper is 1.7 times 10 raised to the power negative 5 per Kelvin. And that of aluminium is 2.3 times 10 raised to the power negative 5 per Kelvin. Please, did you get your preamble? Yes. Okay, good. So, Mauli, find the temperature at which a 1.9975 meter diameter copper ring initially at 25.0 degrees Celsius will slide onto 1.9980 meter diameter steel shaft maintained at 
0.0 degrees Celsius. bonus the right answer is 39.7 degrees Celsius with the same preamble Ola find the temperature at which a 1.9975 meter diameter aluminum ring initially at 25.0 degrees Celsius will slide onto 1.9980 meter diameter steel shaft maintained at 25.0 degrees Celsius. Fafali. That's incorrect for a bonus. The right answer is 35.9 degrees Celsius. Sound. Fafali, you'll need to give your answer again. 37.0 degrees Celsius. GSTS, with the same preamble, find the temperature at which a 0 0.9975 meter diameter copper ring, initially at 25.0 degrees Celsius, will slide onto 0 0.9980 meter diameter steel shaft, maintained at 25.0 degrees Celsius. Adiko. 29.5 degrees Celsius. That's incorrect for a bonus. The right answer is 54.5 degrees Celsius. Next set, 10 seconds. Mauli. Explain why Fe2 plus ion, unlike Mg2 plus can form complex ions and compounds. Collins. Uh, for Fe2 plus, the ion is a transition metal. That is to say that it is it's in a D transition series. So it has multiple electrons in the D orbital. So these electrons are available for any uh, ligand or any kind of anion to form complexes with it. But for uh, for Mg2+, it has uh, an octet structure. That is to say that it uh, has complete uh, set of eight electrons around its uh, outermost valence shell. So it doesn't have uh, electrons to share for any uh, cation, uh, anion to form complexes with it. I'll give you one. <laughs> Fe2 plus ion is a typical D transition element. That part you were right. After the loss of the four S2 electrons, now this is the part where you started going astray. It has several empty low-lying orbitals, including the empty 3D orbitals. 
to accept electron pairs from ligands, not it is already full and is ready to deal with ligands. All right, Ola, explain the term hydrolysis. Yes, patients. Um, hydrolysis is the process by which a weak iron from um, a, an acid or a base reacts with water such that the OH bond in the water is broken and is broken and then the resulting solution is either acidic or basic. One. <laughs> you looked at one part of it and then tried to generalize later. Anyway, the reaction of an ion with water to produce either hydroxonium ion or acid solution or hydroxide ion alkaline solution. GSTS, explain how an aqueous solution of SNCl4 becomes acidic. Panty. SNCl4 will become acidic because on dissociation in an aqueous medium, it will produce SN4 plus and Cl minus. And the SN4 plus is a cation from uh, a weak acid. And thus, we dissociate in the aqueous medium to produce excess hydro SSH plus ions or hydrozonium ions, making it acidic or basic through the deprotonation process. Hmm. I'm not accepting that. For well, bonus. All right. So listen carefully. The molecule SNCl4 will dissolve in water to form initially SNCl4 H2O2. The water molecules bonded to the tin then ionize or hydrolyze to give H3O plus which makes the solution acidic, okay? Next set, 30 seconds with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. Solve the trigonometric equation in the range zero less than x, less than pi. Please give your answer in radians. Have you got your preamble or shall I repeat? You got it. All right. Mauli school. Tangent squared x is equal to 1. Yes, Michael. I have x to be pi over 4 radian. Two out of three. I'll tell you why in a bit. With the same preamble, Ola, sine squared x is equal to one fourth. Fafadi. Um, X is pi over six radians. Pi over six radians and pi over three radians. Two. GSTS with the same preamble. Cosine squared X is equal to half. Is that, is that hand up? Panty. Okay. You are going to have um, x to be pi on 3 radians or 2 pi on 3 radians. That's incorrect. 
fue bonus. All right, so let me tell you the answers. For you, Mauli, pi over four was right. There's another one, three pi over four, which you ignored to mention. For you, Ola, pi over six was right, but your second one was wrong. The right answer is five pi over six. And for you, GSTS, it's pi over four and three pi over four radians. Next set, 10 seconds with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. Explain how the following factors contribute to soil erosion. That's a preamble. Explain how the following factors contribute to soil erosion. Mauli, soil texture. Collins. Uh, for soil texture, it talks about the nature of the soil in that we are talking about how the, the, the soil particles are bound together. So when the soil particles are loosely bound, it means that the factors of erosion, that is water or rain, uh, air, will easily lift the soil particles from the surface. But for uh, soil particles that have high texture, that is, they are closely bound together, when the factors of erosion uh, affect it, it can loosely be, uh, they cannot be easily eroded. Okay. With the same preamble, drought. Yes, patience. Um, during drought, um, the soil is likely to lose water and then the soil particles become very dry and hence they are easily carried away by water or wind or other agents of erosion. I'm not accepting it for bonus. All right, so in times of drought, for example, the vegetative cover of the soil withers away and the land is left uncovered. So it's bare land, right? In the course of this period also, a fast moving wind is usually experienced. So the wind can easily carry away the fine topsoil. GSTS, with the same preamble, the slope of the land. Yes, Adipo. Madam, please, the steeper the land, the more faster uh, rain, rain on the soil moves, and the steeper the land, the more water washes away the topsoil, such that the cover, the cover soil or topsoil will be washed away to a new place. Yes. Next set, 30 seconds. Mauli School. The limiting coefficient of static friction between a 150 Newton block and the horizontal surface is 0 0.23. Find the greatest magnitude of a horizontal force that is unable to initiate motion of the block on the horizontal surface. Yes, Michael. I have the force to be 36.5 newtons. That's incorrect. Which of you? Panty. The force is 64.5 Newton. No. <laughs> no. 
The right answer is 34.5 Newton. I would have accepted 35 Newtons. Ola. A 150 Newton block begins to slide on a horizontal surface when a 48 Newton horizontal force acts on the block. Find the limiting coefficient of static friction between the block and the surface. Fafali. We have 0 0.32. Yes. Yes, yes. A 250 Newton block remains stationary on a horizontal surface when a horizontal 80 Newton force acts on the block. What is the coefficient of static friction between the block and the surface? Yes, Adiko. Madam, 0 0.32. Yes. <laughs> Next set, 30 seconds. Mauli School. When H2S gases bubble through a solution of Fe2 plus ions, FeS precipitates. From the following enthalpies of formation, all in kilojoule per mole, Calculate the enthalpy change for the formation of a mole of FES. Fe2 plus aqueous, negative 88.2. H2S gas, negative 20.2. Aqueous H plus, 0 0.000. Solid FES, negative 95.3. Yes, Collins. Yeah. I have the enthalpy. The answer to be negative 13.1. Kilojoules per mole. That's incorrect for a bonus. It's positive 13.1 kilojoules. Ola. BA2 plus ions form an insoluble sulfide when H2S gas is bubbled through a solution of BA2 plus ions. From the following enthalpies of formation, all in kilojoule per mole, calculate the enthalpy of reaction when a mole of BAS is precipitated. Aqueous BA2 plus, negative 540. Solid BAS, negative 445. H2S gas, negative 20.2 and aqueous H plus 0 0.000. Yes, patients. Positive 115.2 kilojoule. We can't accept that. The right answer, what is it? <laughs> it's positive 115 kilojoule. GSDS. Calculate the enthalpy change for the precipitation of strontium sulfide, that is SRS, 
from SR2 plus ions in solution from the following enthalpies of formation, all in kilojoule per mole. Aqueous SR2 plus, negative 548. Solid SRS, negative 454. H2S, negative 20.2. And aqueous H plus, 0 0.000. .000. Are you sure? <laughs> Go ahead. Adam, positive 568 point. That's incorrect. Go ahead. Positive 114 kilojoules. Yes. <laughs> Last set of questions for the round. 30 seconds with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. Solve the simultaneous equations. That's the preamble. Your equations. Mauli. 3x minus 2y is equal to 2. And 9x minus 4y is equal to 1. Yes, Michael. I have x to be negative 1 and y to be negative 5 over 2. Yes. <laughs> Ola, with the same preamble, your equations. x minus 2y is equal to 5 and... 3x plus y is equal to 8. Patience. Y is equal to minus 1 and x is 3. Y is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 3. Yes. With the same preamble, your equations are 2x plus 3y is equal to 0 and 3x minus 2y is equal to 13. Adiko. X is equal to 2. Madam, X is equal to 2 and Y is equal to minus 4 and 3. That's incorrect. But I'm going to warn you and ignore you. Mm? They were still telling me the answer. The right answer. X is equal to 3 and Y is equal to negative 2. And that's the end of the first round.
At the end of the first round, GSTS has five points. Ola Senior High School Ho has 10 points. Mawuli School has 11 points. Four more rounds to go. <laughs> round two. This round is also known as the speed race. The questions in the round are directed to all three schools simultaneously. For an opportunity to answer a question, you must ring for it. May I hear your bell, Lola? Thank you. Yours, GSTS. Thank you. And yours, Maoli School. Thank you. If you ring an answer correctly on the first attempt, three points. On the second attempt, two points. On the third attempt, one point. But if you attempt to answer a question and you are unsuccessful, or you are unable to provide an answer on time, you lose a precious point. For questions requiring calculations, you have a maximum of 30 seconds to present your answer. If there are no calculations, you have a maximum of 10 seconds to do so. Best wishes, everyone. First set of questions, 10 seconds each. First one. What is the most widely accepted theory to explain translocation of carbohydrates in higher plants? It's called mass flow theory. Next one. Name the molecule that is the final acceptor of electrons in the electron transport chain. Yes, which of you, please? Collins. Yes, please. Madam, that's the cytochrome. No. Yes, uh, which of you, Fafali? NADPH. No. It's oxygen. Next one. What will happen to red blood cells if they are placed in distilled water for? Yes, uh, Michael. When the red blood cells are placed in distilled water, because the Concentration inside the red blood cell is higher than that of the, or is hypertonic to the distilled water. Water will enter the red blood cells by osmosis, and when it is placed inside for some time or for a long time, the cell will increase in size and burst. Yes. Next set, 10 seconds each. First one. Give the systematic names of all the possible position isomers of 2-methyl, 1-pentene, in which the carbon skeletons are all the same as the reference isomer. Adiko. Madam, three metal painting and two two dye metal butane. That's incorrect. <laughs> hmm. There are three of them. 2-methyl-2-pentene, 4-methyl-2-pentene, 
or four methyl one pentene. Next one, 10 seconds. The three position isomers of 2 methyl 1 pentene are 2 methyl 2 pentene, 4 methyl 1 pentene, and 4 methyl 2 pentene. Which of the three isomers will show cis trans isomerism? Which of you? Michael. That's the 2 methyl 2 pentene. That's incorrect. You rang. Yes, patients. Four metal two painting. You are right. <laughs> Next one. Which of the three isomers will be optically active? Which of you, please? Adiko. Two metal two painting. That's incorrect. Um, Collins. That's four metal two painting. No. Did you ring? Go, patient. Four metal one painting. No. <laughs> the answer is none of them. Next set, 30 seconds each. Determine the spring constant of a spiral spring which oscillates with a period of 2.0 seconds when loaded with a 5.0 kilogram mass. Which of you, please? Fafali. We have 50 Newton meters. Fif That's incorrect. Yes. 45.0 Newton meter. No. Hmm. The right answer is 49 Newton per meter. Next one. A stationary sound source emitting 5.0 kilohertz waves is approached at 20 meters per second on a warm day when the speed of sound is 350 meters per second. Find the frequency perceived. Yes, which of you? Fafali. We have our answer to be 4.0 times 10 power 3 hertz. That's incorrect. The right answer is 5.3 kilohertz. Next one. A refrigerator rejects 800 joules of heat to a hot reservoir at 40 degrees Celsius. How much work is involved if the coefficient of performance of the refrigerator is 2.5? The right answer is 320 joules. Last set of questions for the round. 30 seconds each.
solve for x from the equation, the expression ax minus b divided by the expression cx plus d is equal to 3. Yes, Michael. Go. X is equal to 3D plus B all over 3C minus A. No, I'm not accepting it. Who rang next? Yes. We have X to be equal to 3D plus B all over A minus 3C. Yes. Next one. Find the next prime after 151. Michael. 157. Yes. If you don't raise your hand, I am at liberty to call either one of you, since you have rang, right? Mm -hmm. A fair die is tossed. Find the probability of obtaining an odd number, given that the number rolled is three. Yes. Fafali. One out of three. No. Hey, you people are actually surprising me. Think about it. The number rolled is three. The probability of obtaining an odd number. Is three not an odd number? There was no need for calculation. The answer is one. And that's the end of the second round. There's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people. Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial moments. Prudential always listening, always understanding. There's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people.
getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. Ola Senior High School Ho has nine points. Mauli School has 13 points. <laughs> Round three. At stake in this round, is the Prudential Life Insurance NSMQ star. What is the star? It is an award that is given to any team, any school, that is able to earn a perfect score of 10 points in the problem of the day. This award is worth 600 Ghana CDs to each member of such a team. So 600 Ghana CDs to each of three students and one teacher making a total of 2,400 Ghana CDs. I hope you'll be working hard for this. Good. Thank you, Prudential Life Insurance, for the NSMQ star. So round three. The round has the problem of the day. From the time I ask you to begin, you have three minutes to present an answer, one answer from your school. The problem of the day, as I have already mentioned, is worth 10 points. Now let's turn over our sheets and read the problem of the day together. Problem of the day. Why do sprinters generally prefer to run on their toes? Contestants, this is your problem of the day. You may now begin.
please stop writing and present your answers. Stop writing. School name. Ready. Contestants, please pick up your notepads and present your answers on the board as you have them here.
It's my secret. Thank you. This makes them cover a longer distance. also increases blood flow to other body parts. Oh, okay.
the contestants have presented their answers before I award the points. Let's look at the suggested solution from the consultants. This problem came from biology. And it says, why do sprinters generally prefer to run on their toes? This is the suggested solution. Running on their toes increases the effective length of their limbs. Subsequently, each stride taken is longer and so propels the body forward over a greater distance. Assuming that the speed of movement of the limbs remain the same, the sprinter will move forward at a faster pace. That is it, so simple. Anyway, now the marker location, the marker location. There were four key ideas I was looking for. The first one had to do with the increase in the effective length of the limb. That was worth three points. Then, mentioning the stride, right? The effect on the stride length, two points. Then the greater distance, the translational distance being greater, two points. And finally, the velocity, the speed of movement. That was worth three points. All right, so... Let's see what the contestants did. <laughs> Ola. It appears you were thinking of a different sport altogether. <laughs> because you are talking about leaping and jumping and... Increase in blood flow, increase in oxygen. No, this was a complete deviation. And so I'm most unhappy to award you zero. Mauli school, you see that your answer has no resemblance to the things I was looking for. You focus on pressure, but that is not, that is not it. And so, unhappily, I award you also zero. GSTS, you mentioned the increase in effective length of limb. You mentioned the stride length. You mentioned the greater distance. But that was it. You didn't talk about the speed of movement. You rather started going off on a tangent. Anyway, for what you mentioned, you have seven out of ten. That's the end of the problem of the day and the end of round three. Please pick up your notepads. Notepad.
round four. <laughs> round four. In this round, I'm going to present you with statements. When you receive a statement, please consider the statement very carefully and let me know whether it's true or false. If you are right, two points. If you are incorrect, you lose a precious point. You may choose not to respond, in which case the statement is available to the two other schools. A school may ring and attempt an answer. If right, two, four points. If not, there is a penalty. Best wishes to all three schools. I'll be starting with you, Ola, but I have a preamble first to all schools. Preamble. X and Y are real variables. That's a preamble. Ola, if the quotient is a constant, the relation is a constant relation. Fafali. It's true. No. GSTS. If their product is a constant, the relation is an inverse relation. Adiko. True. Yes. <laughs> if their sum is a constant, the relation is a linear relation. Yes, Michael. It's true. Yes. <laughs> the gases, CO2, NO2, SO2, and CO, will all turn wet blue litmus red. Fafali. It's false. Yes. Both H2S gas and SO2 gas will decolorize a certified KMNO4 solution. Yes, Adiko. True. Yes. <laughs> In the brown ring test for NO3 minus ion, Concentrated H2SO4 solution is added to the aqueous solution of NO3 minus, followed by addition of freshly prepared FeSO4 solution. Yes, uh, Michael. False. You're right. <laughs> the presence of trichomes on leaves prevents gutation. It's false. Yes. The presence of trichomes on leaves help in rapid gaseous exchange. Adiko. False. Yes. The presence of trichomes on leaves reduces transpiration. Michael. True. Yes. <laughs> a vehicle can negotiate a curve on a frictionless road without skidding if the road is appropriately banked. Fafali. True. Yes. A vehicle must negotiate a curve on a bank road at a lower speed than on a flat road with the same curve. Adiko. False. Yes. The maximum speed for negotiating a curve in a banked road 
is independent of the banking angle. Michael. False. Yes. <laughs> the next set come with a preamble. Preamble to all school. In any triangle, that's a preamble. In any triangle, Ula, an exterior angle is larger than any interior angle. Properly. It's false. Yes. The sum of any two interior angles exceeds the third interior angle. Adiko. False. Yes. <laughs> the sum of the exterior angles is twice the sum of the interior angles. Michael. True. Yes. <laughs> BEF2 is a bent molecule. Properly. It's false. Yes. <laughs> SNF2 is a bent molecule. Adiko. True. Yes. <laughs> Arsenic 3 fluoride, ASF3, is a planar molecule. Michael. True. No. <laughs> It's actually trigonal pyramidal. The presence of vitamin C prevents antibody synthesis. Perfectly. It's false. Yes. Vitamin C is an essential nutrient involved in the repair of tissue and the enzymatic production of certain neurotransmitters. Adiko. True. Yes. The disease scurvy is caused by vitamin C deficiency and can be prevented and treated with vitamin C containing foods or dietary supplements. Michael. True. Yes. Last set of statements. Last set. Because ice is already frozen, the heat capacity of ice is zero. Fafali. False. Yes. GSTS. Because ice is already frozen, its temperature cannot be reduced. Adiko. False. Yes. <laughs> Last statement, Mauli. To melt ice below its freezing point, heat must be added to raise this temperature to the freezing point, and further heat must be added to melt it. Michael. It's false. Oh. That's a true statement. 
And that's the end of the fourth round. At the end of the fourth round, Olasinia High School Hall has 22 points. Mauli School has 23 points. GSTS has 25 points. Round five. The contest will be decided in this fifth and final round. In this round, I'm going to be reading out clues. Your objective is to solve the riddle. If you solve the riddle on the first clue, five points. On the second clue, four points. On the third or any clue thereafter, three points. In order to solve a riddle, you must ring for it. May I hear your bell, Lula? Thank you. Yours, GSTS. Thank you. And yours, Mauli. Thank you. When you ring, your answer must be ready. I will not wait for you to compose an answer at that time. Best wishes to all three schools. There are four riddles. First one. I am a type of electric generator. I transform the energy I receive into electrical energy. I am a heat engine because I transform heat. Yes, Panty. Thermoelectric generator. You are right. I was reading the third clue, three points. Next one. I am a historic term for a biological community of plants, animals, and fungi. My community is composed of species best adapted to average conditions in an area. I am sometimes also applied in soil development. I am normally used to refer to an ecological community in which populations of plants or animals remain stable and exist. Yes, Michael. Climax community. You are right.
I was reading the fourth clue, three points. Next one. I am a single digit decimal number. My square is the reverse of twice me. A number is divisible by me if the sum of its digits is divisible by me. I am by the way also a square. Yes, Panty. Nine. You're right. I read the fourth clue, three points. Last one. My discovery dates to the 19th century. A British scientist went all out to show how small I am. I was supposed to be indestructible then, but he was wrong. Yes, Michael. The atom. Yes, it's an atom. I read the third clue, three points. And that's the end of the first round. At Central University, we are not just given theoretical knowledge, but also real-life practical imagining. Our projects and research are targeted at solving real-life problems within our built and the natural environment. My name is Che Joseph Bafo, an architecture student. The faculty and facilities available to us make us industry ready. The projects I'm working on recently won an award when my colleagues and I visited the Netherlands. Central University makes you industry ready. At the end of the contest, here are the final scores. Ola Senior High School Hall has 22 points. Mawuli School has 29 points. GSTS has 31 points. Last Senior High School, thanks for being here. Best wishes to you. Mauli School, Collins and Michael. Well, best wishes to you. GSTS. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the contest. 
please prepare, prepare very well. And I shall look forward to seeing you at the quarterfinals. Before we leave, I would like to acknowledge our sponsors. The National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service with support from Goyle, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, GCB Bank, Vimto, Academic City College, Adansi Travels, Kenya Airways, Accra College of Medicine, Medifem Multi-Specialist Hospital and Fertility Center, GTP, FH Aachen University of Applied Sciences, Newmont Gold Corp Ghana, and Intervarsity. Our media partners are Joy News, Joy FM, My Joy Online, and YFM. And of course, this is a prime time production. Thank you very much, viewers, for joining us for this contest. Please make plans to be with us when we bring you next time the last of the 1A stage contest. That contest will feature West Africa Senior High School, Chakradi Senior High School, and Sogakofe Senior High School. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye. Here's innovation from Goyle that takes you further. New Gold Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 tubes have been expertly crafted with the latest in liquid engineering technology. Highly advanced for modern engines. Prolongs oil change intervals. Save you fuel, clean, protect and enhance engine performance. The way engines work has become complex and Goyle has innovated to stay ahead with expertly crafted lubricants that work excellently with all petrol and diesel engines of today. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 News. Innovation that takes you further. Goyle. Good energy. You're most welcome to a new era of banking at GCB Bank, where there are no long queues at the bank. Because you can enjoy swift access to your account anywhere, anytime with GCB eBanking Solutions. Experience a world where you have financial convenience from a bank with integrity. A world where you can focus on your business and trust us to provide you with limitless business banking solutions that will take you to new heights. When you need a loan, sooner is better than later. So we give it to you in 24 hours to make sure the experience is memorable. Whatever you need, sir, we have an exceptional team of diverse professionals ready to serve you with a smile. Trust us with your money. We are bigger, better, safe, and ready to take you places beyond banking. GCB Bank, your bank for life. You're most welcome to a new era of banking at GCB Bank, where there are no long queues at the bank. Because you can enjoy swift access to your account anywhere, anytime with GCB eBanking Solutions. Experience a world where you have financial convenience from a bank with integrity. A world where you can focus on your business and trust us to provide you with limitless business banking solutions that will take you to new heights. When you need a loan, sooner is better than later. So we give it to you in 24 hours to make sure the experience is memorable. Whatever you need, sir, we have an exceptional team of diverse professionals ready to serve you with a smile. Trust us with your money. We are bigger, better, safe, and ready to take you places beyond banking. GCB Bank, your bank for life.
there's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people. Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial moments. Prudential always listening, always understanding. At Central University, we are not just giving theoretical knowledge, but also real-life practical immersion. Our projects and research are targeted at solving real-life problems within our built and natural environment. My name is Che Joseph Bafo, an architecture student. The faculty and facilities available to us make us industry ready. <laughs> The project I'm working on recently won an award when my colleagues and I visited the Netherlands. Central University makes you industry ready.